हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम गुड हेयर एंड होप ऑल ऑफ यू मस्ट बी डूइंग ग्रेट सो टुडे आई हैव ब्रॉट अ न्यू टॉपिक दैट वट इज आउटस्टैंडिंग डिमांड ऑफ इनकम टैक्स एंड हाउ टू सबमिट रिस्पॉन्स टू सच काइंड ऑफ डिमांड्स बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस टॉपिक आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक ऑल ऑफ यू फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो एंड इफ यू फाइंड दिस वीडियो इन्फॉर्मेटिव प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब टू दिस चैनल एंड लाइक द वीडियो and also do not forget to hit bell icon the benefit of hitting bell icon is that whatever informative video will be uploaded in this channel you will get notification immediately so that you will not miss out to see those kind of videos so let's start i have seen that most of the person do not know how to check outstanding demand in income tax e filing portal and how to submit response to those demands so today I will show you how to check your outstanding demand and also how to submit your response to that demands. First question in your mind must be arising that what is outstanding demand and how it arises. In a simple way, I say that if your tax liability that arises is more than the tax paid by you, that creates demand. Sometimes it also happens that the credit of tax paid by you does not match with the data available in income tax due to some reasons it could be a mistake in filling details of your pan assessment year major minor head of payment of taxes this kind of mistakes resulted in reflecting short payment of your taxes hence it creates demand such demand is communicated by the income tax to you through mail or sms now how to check the outstanding tax demand yourself at the end of this video i will show how to check yourself the outstanding demand and how to respond or how to pay the tax outstanding through your income tax e filing account before that i would like to explain what you should do if the demand of tax is genuine and also in case if it is not genuine suppose if the demand is genuine i recommend you all that the genuine demand must be paid in time that is normally within 30 days from the date of receipt of demand notice otherwise on outstanding demand interest will be charged at the rate of 1% per month or part of the month from the due date of payment of such demand now sometimes situation may arise that you are not in a position to pay the outstanding demand then what should you do in this situation you should follow any of the following steps first like you should request in writing to your concerned assessing officer or his or her higher authorities to grant a stay on demand for some period of time you should also state your genuine problem and circumstances if your problem is genuine the authority concerned would definitely grant the stay or if the stay is not granted you should request for granting installments so that you may pay the demand in installments if you follow this you will not be deemed assessee in default and further if the outstanding demand is not genuine that means as i have already explained that due to mismatch or mistake in your payment of taxes the demand arises you should submit your response through e filing portal of income tax explaining the details of your tax payment with documentary proof if the mistake is rectifiable by income tax they will do otherwise you have to contact with the concerned authority like your employer in case of mistake in tds payment and in the case of payment of self assessment tax or advance tax you should contact to the bank where you have deposited the amount of tax in most of the cases of mismatch in self assessment tax and advance tax income tax department may rectify the mistake on the written request of the assessee at least by now all of you must be knowing how the demand of tax arises 
and what you should do in the case of genuine and not genuine demand now i will show you how to check online your demand of tax and submit response for this you have to open the browser and type income tax e filing portal in url see one link will appear just click this link then home page of the portal will appear you have to click login button that is on the right side of top here you have to login by entering your username your username is nothing but your pan and password and captcha as given on logging in main page of your account will appear you can see here that some tabs are given here you have to go to e file tab and select response to outstanding demand now you can see how much outstanding demand is pending at the last column you can see the pay tax column and below it link is given if your demand is genuine and want to pay the tax immediately you can click this and you will be redirected to the nsdl portal for payment of tax see here i am being asked to confirm i confirm it now see the nsdl site for payment of tax has appeared here you have to select the name of bank through which you like to pay the tax whether using net banking or debit card you can also see your details here now please enter the captcha and click proceed button it will redirect you to your bank page from where you can pay the tax now i come back to response page now suppose your demand is not genuine so you should submit your response to the demand you should click submit button of the response column now here a response page has appeared you have to submit your response whether the demand is correct or not if your demand is not correct you should click the bubbles of disagree with demand see now see some of the reasons have appeared in the page here you have to tick appropriate check box against the reason mentioned as why you are disagree with demand and submit now your response will be verified by the department and necessary rectification will be done you can also file rectification application for rectify the order that creates the demand so this was the procedure to submit response to the outstanding income tax demand hope all of you must have liked the video if you want to watch such kind of informative videos in future please subscribe to this channel and hit bell icon to get early notification of new videos thank you for watching thanks a lot bye